All eyes on me. All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I have noticed, and maybe y'all have noticed too. But I feel like it's something that a lot of people don't pay attention to. I do want to tell y'all about another group though. And I feel like I told y'all about them before, but it's been a wow. Lucky Ride, a very solid place to go play in my opinion. If you do want to go sign up with Lucky Ride, all of the info in the description. You can go message them on Facebook, let them know that you came from my channel. And y'all know I got to do another giveaway. And this time I'm going to give away to four people. So on August 4th, I'm going to give away $25 to four people. If you want to go sign up with Lucky Ride, I'm just commenting Lucky with your cash app. And I'll put your name into the giveaway. All right, so it was a little skip right here. And this is what I wanted to get into. So I had stopped shooting for like maybe two and a half to three minutes. And I don't know if y'all have ever noticed, but like the clown, the Buddha, the vampire, whatever stage you're on, if you're shooting at it, sometimes it likes to pop like right before the stage changes. And I know some of y'all have probably noticed that. It could be before the stage change, and it can be when the stage begins. It just likes to pop. And this is something that I have noticed plenty of times and I feel like it's something to it so I don't think that it matters all the time for it to die at a certain number it could just be that situation or depending on what the game is doing and I know it's not always easy to tell when the stage is about to change you kind of just kind of got to go off of like experience for the most part because all right so I feel like every stage the main stage with the clown on, for example, is gonna last around five minutes. And I feel like the boss stages last around maybe like three and a half to four minutes. So you kinda gotta go off of just like how you feeling at the moment. And I'm not saying that this is something that's like easy to do or figure out, but I have just noticed it so many times that I feel like it's good to bring awareness to it. And I definitely don't want to confuse y'all. I'm going to go to another clip to show you an example of what I mean by the beginner of the stage. So right here, I'm shooting at the wild hog. It's not doing nothing. When I get down to $830, I decide to stop and wait for the clown to come back. All right, so as you saw, I put $10 up top, two taps on the clown, it went. And of course, the beginning of the stage is way easier to figure out than the end of the stage. My advice for the beginning, and this is something that I'm getting better at myself now too, you always want at least your first five to 10 shots to be like really good shots. And what I mean by that is this, you wanna be on a good bet because the stuff likes to pop at the beginning of the stage very often. And I can make this video very long by showing you so many examples, but I try to spread it out into other videos. But yeah, your first five to 10 shots, you wanna make them really good shots because you never know when that stuff is gonna pop. I'm gonna show y'all another beginning of stage example with this clown. So I already had $500 just sitting on this account and I was bored so I just came back to play. I was willing to do $50. I was going to try $50 and if I got the $450 I was going to get off. But luckily when I signed on the Tiger stage was on, I didn't play the Tiger at all. I just waited for the clown to start. And of course I threw 20 up top, first tap it went. So that's why I really want to encourage y'all at the beginning of the stage at least your first five to ten shots is making really good shots and the end of the stage 
is a little bit more challenging, like I said, but it is something to pay attention to. Everybody smile. I know y'all gotta be about tired of hearing me run my mouth though. So I'm about to let y'all watch uh, another clip, which is just a continuation of this gameplay that you are watching right here. I just ended up playing my money down to like 700 and something. And I started hitting again. But it's really going to be showing y'all another example of that end of stage hit that I was talking about in the beginning. But yeah, just don't forget to go sign up with Lucky Ride. If you want to enter the giveaway, just comment Lucky with your cash app. And I will enter your name into the giveaway. That's going to be on August 4th. Four people will get $25 each. But I really appreciate y'all. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already. And enjoy the rest of this video. Oh, and also, Lucky Rod does have a $10 sign-on bonus if you load at least $20 on Go to Dragon for the first time. So, go get that $10 sign-on bonus. That $10 can be very, very crucial. But yeah, all right, I'm done now. I'll let y'all watch the video. your own luck. Just keep smiling. Just keep smiling. Just keep smiling. Today is your lucky day! <laughs> Fortune bag.